Hi, this is Avar from Scrappy Mania, and today I'm going to go over how to create um, Glimmer Mist and how you can create Glimmer Mist out of inks, refillable inks. You can create um, Glimmer Mist out of paint, so you can take some different color paints and make your Glimmer Mist. Um, or my preferred method, I like to use these refillable bottles, these ink refillable bottles for printers. I have um, a bunch of these lying around my house so I decided instead of investing a lot of money on either um, refillable inks or the perfect pearls and stuff like that that I will use this to create my glimmer mist. Um, you can create any color of the rainbow using these these um, printer colors so I have light magenta, magenta, yellow, black um, I have cyan and I have dark cyan and depending on how much drops of each it creates a different colors I use a color a website I found this website which I'll go ahead and post on my on my YouTube channel and it has the combination of the recipes of how to create your different colors um, using the the colors of the printer like it has magenta and it also has cyan and so forth so using this guide I went ahead and created these colors you can see there and yellow and then the edges here what I did is once I color I glimmer mist it I went ahead and used some distress ink and I um, distressed the edges so let me show you what you can use for creating this stuff I used to create my glimmer mist using big bottles like this and or this one these are pretty inexpensive but as you can tell I mean this has at least six or seven months or longer and sometimes I just want to make little batches and use it for a project or so so now I went ahead and and these are not as easy to store you need to have a whole shelf to put these on well these are easy to store in a pencil box and I can have a lot of different colors in a smaller space and like you can see here I created this yellow this gold color these green using the, the um, guide on the internet okay and this one so let me show you how these colors look on a sheet of paper and because I'm using printer and my color tends to be more intense than if I use um, um, refillable ink because you'll have to use a lot of drops of this in order to get that real high concentration of pigment and also um, before I forget the, 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 the glimmer in here was created by using Lumiere but I have done my other glimmer mist um, solutions I have done it with iridescent medium you can use this to give it that shine or you can also use Perlex but if you use Perlex make sure you add a little bit of gum aerobic in order for to be the fixident um, for your Perlex or another thing that I have used too is perfect pearls now with perfect pearls you do not need a fixident it's built in within your perfect pearls okay so let me go ahead go ahead and get started let me show you this color it's like a nice see how that glimmer I don't know if you can see it or not but see it has a nice little glimmer on the sheet from my Lumiere 
And let me show you another color that I created using that website. This is more like a copper color. And there you have a copper color. Okay, and see how it kind of um, glimmer. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and take another bottle. And, and the color that I'm going to create is, let's see, I'm going to create um, Orchid. Okay? So on my website it says, Orchid, add a, a small amount of purple to white. Um, so I need to create purple, and purple is a mix of magenta and a small amount of cyan. So, for the white, I usually just use a little bit of acrylic paint for my white. I'm going to go ahead and get a small bottle. I mean, not a small bottle, I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and get one of these cups. And I like to take a popsicle stick. And I'm going to go ahead and use, it says, in order to make purple, I need magenta and cyan. So I'm going to take a little bit of magenta, two, three, four, four magenta, and then I'm going to take some of my cyan, and I'm going to put two, three, four even amount of cyan, even amount of magenta. And see, this is the little purple color that I get. Now if it's too purple, it's more like a purple blue, I'm going to go ahead and put a little more of magenta. So what you do is you, you, you add color, so your color, the the color wheel is more um, a guide, but you add color until you get the desired color that you want. I'm going to go ahead and get some acrylic paint. Let me go get some. I'll use some of this textile paint. I'm going to put a little bit of white and then I'm going to mix it. Okay. Okay, so when I did the white, look at the color now. It's a little different. And that's the color I'm going for. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of my Lemire. I'm gonna use the other side of the paint, I mean of my popsicle stick, and I'm just going to put a little bit and mix it. And you may want to use gloves for this process for the, because it goes all over, it gets all over the place. And you might not want to use good clothes when you're doing this because it, it'll get ruined if you get some of that on you. And see, I have a small amount. Now I'm going to use a little bit of water. And I'm just going to mix it. And there's my orchid. Kind of a light color. No more water. And then I usually like to test it out. Mm, I might want to make it a little more intense, so let me go ahead and put 
one, two, three, because I really want an intense purple color. One, two, three, and then mix it. And you keep adding and mixing until you get the desired color you want. About the same. So now I'm ready to put it in my mister. Perfect. Not too much. You want to leave a little room so that way you can mix it. Now let's go ahead and test it out. There you have it. And see how intense the color is? Sometimes when you use, and I only had to use a couple drop folds. So you know this is going to last you for a lifetime, almost, because I only had to use a couple of drops. If you use, I've noticed when I do use um, ink, I tend to use dropfuls of it, a lot of more drops, in order to make the color more intense. Um, like I believe this one was made with, with um, ink, with refillable ink. Not refillable ink with um, stamping ink. And notice how it's a lot lighter, kind of more translucent than with my mini mister when I use um, printer ink. It's less tran translucent and it's more, um, has more of an intense color. Okay? So I hope you enjoy my tutorial how to create these different colors and um, I'll go ahead and look at my I'll go ahead and post the website that I use for the different color combinations <coughs> so that way you can use it as a guide so when you're mixing your colors um, you can get a, um, the color that you're looking for thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial until next time bye